Hey everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to my first City Skylines build. I picked this map, Fisher's Enclave. It's the Sunset Harbor DLC. I'm really not a fan of this interchange, so I'm actually not going to use it, at least not for a while. I have some different ideas. I think I want to put, I know it's not ideal, but for right now, I think I just want to put a road across the highway and start my city from there. Mm, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, well, let's get started. I guess I want to, this is my, <laughs> first video for YouTube, my first time playing City Skylines and creating content with it. As I lay out my city here, I want to just kind of explain why I'm inspired to be here. Back in January, I was on YouTube and I ran across a YouTube video and it was of Bluffside Crossing, I don't remember what episode from City Planner Plays. And I had never seen this game before. I'm not a gamer, and it was really fascinating to me. Then I binged all the Bluffside Crossing and got caught up and got to watch Verde Beach Start, which was really fun. Then the YouTube algorithm led me to all the uh, other amazing creators that are making content and I'm sure there's so many that I'm not following because YouTube will, they only show you what they show you. Egg is a, a channel that YouTube recommended to me and then of course uh, I guess as he's known as Granddaddy Biffa videos are so much fun. I um, really enjoy his content. And then I saw the start of the five builders, one city. And it was really interesting to see how different people approach the game, ways of building and playing the game. And it just made me really think differently. And then I was thinking, well, let me find some female city builders to follow because I'm sure that they're there. Well, either they're there and YouTube is not showing me them because I search and I search and I could only find male city builders. So then after seeing, continuing to watch the five builders, one city, saw that first season wrap up and then I thought well, why don't I do it like not five builders one city but like why don't I start a YouTube channel and build cities I mean why not me I've I've never done this before I've never edited a video before <laughs> like all this is going to be really new to me but if other people can figure it out so can I after just not seeing any female YouTube creators who were creating consistent content like the other channels I follow, I just felt really inspired to put my spin on it. Now, I've only built three cities off camera, so I am very, very new to this game. I am going figuring this stuff out as I go along. So bear with me, <laughs> this is gonna be a learning experience. I will appreciate any and all comments that um, help. So uh, thank you in advance for telling me everything I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Cause I'm sure there'll be a lot of that. So that's just one reason of why I was inspired to 
start this channel and build content. And just to let you know, after I get through explaining this, then it will be just more of me talking about playing the game. I just felt like it was good to explain how I kind of came to this conclusion of starting a YouTube channel. For any of you who are city planning nerds or maybe you really parks, I have a historical connection to city planning and my grandmother's maiden name was Olmsted and her father was a distant cousin of the Frederick Law Olmsted who's known as the godfather of landscape. Now when I was younger I heard the Olmsted name throughout my family but I didn't there wasn't any significance to me as at a young age. In my early 20s I moved to New York from the Pacific Northwest and one day I was in a bookstore and I saw a book called A Clearing in the Distance and in like the subtitle it said something about Frederick Law Olmsted and I was like I've heard that name before and so I picked up the book and I read it and his life is absolutely fascinating. Yes, his life, he had a lot of quote unquote success, but really what I found fascinating was all of his failures because he tried his hand at many different things and it wasn't until much, much later in his life that he really, really fell into and owning the whole idea of landscape and creating even the term landscape architect. If you don't know, Frederick Law Olmsted, probably the thing he's most well known for is uh, Central Park. And then he has done over a hundred different parks. He's, there's just a lot, it's a lot. And then his two sons started a firm he started a firm with his two sons even later on and they went on to design just thousands of projects. In a very strange way I could pay homage to a little part of my family through a video game? I don't know. So far I've had so much fun playing this game. I'm just thoroughly addicted at this point. You know if I'm going to spend a significant amount of time playing this game I might as well try my hand at creating content for YouTube and, um, you know, just to be a part of this amazing community and all these amazing builders that I'm just really enjoying watching and learning from. And I'll stop rambling now, but I just thought it was important to kind of explain why I'm here. everything ready to start the game. I think I'm gonna build out a little more road here. I just want to make sure I save space for when at some point I'm going to need another uh, power plant so I want to save some space there. 
Um, so the other thing that I that I'm going to be doing, which I just mentioned, is trying to pay homage in some strange way. So I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration um, from Frederick Law Olmsted, whether it be naming street names, naming parks, naming campuses, and then. You know, I am not a landscape architect. I am not a city planner, but I love this game and I think I love managing traffic as much as I do detailing. So, and then I just love the whole, I get to decide where everything goes, which I just, this game is so fun. Let's use zoning to help get power down to our water pump. Um, let me just run a power line here. I know it may be really strange for me doing this at grade crossing when I have that other interchange over there, but I really don't like that interchange. I know I'm going to do something different, so I know it's strange, but just hang with me. I think it'll be fine for a little while. Okay, I think we might actually be ready to press play and see what happens. I should maybe do, yeah, let's do a little bit of traffic management first. I want to lower the speeds on the lanes that are going to be turning into road I think uh, what do you hit option shift command see I'm still learning I'm trying to figure this out okay ah there we go okay now I'm just going to change the speed limit on ones coming into the city perfect Okay, and then let's do a little, as uh, Biffa would say, Hugo there. <laughs> I love that. His channel is so much fun to watch. It just, it's, it's very, very entertaining. It's nice because you learn a lot too, but also very entertaining. It's no surprise that he is as popular as he is. Okay, a little bit more main management here. Okay. All right, I think this is gonna be good now. We'll do the trick for the meantime. Okay. All right. I think might be ready to actually finally start the city. What do you guys think? Starting the new city is so fun. I've only done this a couple times, but I just love all the possibilities. Okay, time to fill in some more zoning. Industrial. Don't want to put too much right away. I do want to build out this grid a little bit more. Just because I want to reserve some space here for later on. Let's get rid of this power line. There we go. Okay. All right. And a little bit on either side of our utilities. I think that should be enough for now. Okay, let's do some more zoning down here. Oh man, I wanted to save 
some room for a little path through here, but I'm not going to delete those. I'm just going to do it on these other ones. I won't worry about it up there. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do some those. I'm going to stick with my original plan. Yeah, just let them be. Okay, let's build out this grid a little bit more. to their new homes. The nice thing about our community, the hmm, oil is not getting our coal. I'm sure that will come in. The nice thing about our community is you can get a home loan, which is 3% down, and it's not complicated, and Housing is affordable. <laughs> We're going to say that. Okay, I'm going to put in a bit more of these very nice but reasonably priced homes. I think I got very lucky of when I bought my home because I think if I was in the same position now, I don't know if it would happen. Okay. Alright. We are getting there. Okay, let's build out this grid a little bit more. save this uh, space here in the middle. I want to create a little education complex when we get to that point. I think that'll be really cute. Probably need more space than that so I'll probably when I build out the grid a little bit more I will need some more space there. Put a couple more houses down here. I want to leave room for future roads. In fact, I might just put some little dead ends now. That might be helpful actually. Let's do that. Little Hamlet. I don't know why this thing, <laughs> this game is so fun. It just gets me so excited. I gotta do taxes right away though before I forget. Because if I don't, I totally, I will just completely forget. Let me finish this little in there. Oh, we gotta get water. Pipes underneath the roads. There we go. Okay. Pull in. This. Build this out a little more, or just mm, just put a little bit of industrial there. Okay, I think I'm gonna get my 
garbage. Yeah. Let's put my landfill up here. Just kind of want to create its own little spot. Landfill. When we have some more money, we'll add in a recycling center. And we'll save some space for that. But there we go. Now garbage is taken care of. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and put down our elementary school. Like I said, I'm going to save a bunch of space to add in the high school when we get there. I'll put that in the corner. Where we potentially end this little bit of it, you know, regular industrial. I don't think I'll need much more than what I have room for here. And that's got water. Okay, good. Alright, oh, this is all filled in really nice. Let's build out this grid a little bit more. And we're not too far from our next milestone. Oh. down. I forgot to do this at the beginning just so we're not spending too much money. And I gotta do taxes. Glad I remembered. Like I said, I've only be built a couple cities and this is something I would always forgot to do. Okay, let's get our main drive filled in. And leave room for a little road behind the shops. And I guess so this will be, I'm excited for when we get to high school because then we can do our little educational little mini complex that would be fun okay things are growing all right i'm gonna delete this power line and add a touch more residential up here let's get in our little dead end road that will be helpful to us later on Make sure we leave room for continuing our little main street. Okay. All right, we got water there. Good. Okay, get that little corner. Are you gonna come on get over there oh yay worthy village oh this is fun I love that come on power we don't want to put a power line over this road you can do it There we go, and everyone's happy again. Okay, great. Oh, I'm excited now. Okay, let's... We've got the fire station. 
and I think yeah I want to use these two squares for our fire station our police station kind of like a little city services I like how it's positioned just in between Main Street and where our industrial is I want to give these their own little dedicated roads okay perfect that'll be fun for detailing as well once we get there police station and everybody's even more happy yeah I like that that's cute it'll look much better once I can detail it but let's get this grid built out again in a little bit more commercial there mm. let me just like a little specific zonings there I'm still not great at navigating around this game <laughs> figure it out as I go. I should tell I'll we'll get better at it. Um let's make something fun here. So what I want to do down here is I love the idea of using the organic and fresh produce. I did this in my last city um, that I did was make like little miniature farmers markets. Um, let's get a small neat little district here. I personally used to love going to the farmer's market Saturday or Sunday mornings. I haven't been to a farmer's market since, well, you know when. Um, and I was thinking about finally going this weekend, but Pacific Northwest is on fire right now, so it is um, just uncomfortable to be outside of the house. <laughs> so, maybe next weekend. Okay, I'm hoping these will work the way I want them to. I'm just going to have to see what we get coming in, and I definitely want to do a lot of editing to make it exactly what I want. Almost there. Just a little bit more population. So we can get our high school. Oh, we... oh yeah, we need to name our city. So uh, the name Fairstead, okay, we should also look at policies, yeah let's put the smoke detector, why not? So very later on in life he settled down in Brookline, Massachusetts, named his farm Fairstead and that is where he started the Olmstead firm with his son. 
and then uh, his other son eventually joined as well. Um, but so I thought that would be a good name for the city. I am not seeing the buildings that I want. That one's kind of cute. I might keep that. I'll definitely do some editing here. Oh yeah, that's the one I like. The little barn. That's super cute. Super cute. Don't want you or you. It's another thing I really enjoy about the game is just kind of seeing what comes in and doing editing to make sure it's what you want. I I wouldn't say I'm it's like certain areas I'm like I wanna you know like this I want to create like a little farmers market so that's fun you can do that or um, you know looking at what types of commercial buildings are coming in to make sure they're serving the needs of the community it's annoying when you get like just a ton of general stores <laughs> <laughs> I think this might take a while to get exactly what I'm looking for here, but patience will pay off eventually. time. I think we made great progress for, you know, our first, I guess we call, should we call this an episode? For our first episode of Fairstead. Um, yeah, I think this turned out really well. This is super cute. I like the little downtown Main Street. Very cute. Alright, well, thank you for joining me on my very first episode of my very first build of City Skylines. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll leave you with a little bit of cinematic of the tiny town of Fairstead, and I hope you all have a joyful day. <laughs>